Hey guys, welcome back to another Wildstar Drop video. Today I'm coming at you with a video about the new exchange, or not new, but they just released today the CRED system, which is the exchange system uh, in which you can pay and buy CRED uh, and then redeem that for a subscription. So if you go here to their website, go in the upper right hand corner to the shop, you will then be able to click on something called CRED. Uh, $19.99 will give you one credit or one CREDD. Uh, uh, which is what they're calling it. You can buy that now from their store there. Uh, so once you've done that and then you go back into your account and log in, on the character select screen, in the right hand side, you're going to see something different. You're going to see something that says uh, you have one cred here that's available to you. So if you go there, you'll see over there under account services, uh, you can go and click on that and redeem that. Now let me say a few words about what the cred system is just to get that out of the way. There are two ways to pay for the subscription in this game. You can buy cred, redeem that for a subscription with real money, or you can grind in-game gold within the game and then purchase cred from other people into the cred exchange system within the game. But you're going to be paying someone else who's bought cred with real money. So hopefully that's not too confusing. So as you see here, I could click on the redeem button there and redeem that uh, one cred uh, for a subscription. Uh, and I will be doing that for the next couple of months. I just want to see uh, how the system and the currency fluctuates uh, as we go into it. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the game here and show you a little bit of about the system, how to sell and how to buy. So I've already showed you how to buy from their website with real money, but now I'm gonna show you how to sell it in-game for in-game currency. So if we go here, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get my buff here from my house. Just give me one minute here. Uh, but we'll be able to go down uh, in the lower left-hand corner of the screen and I'll show you exactly where to go. So. If you look down there in the lower left hand side of the screen, you'll see that little icon there. Click on that. And then once you do that, you're going to see the cred exchange system up there towards the top of the list. Uh, type something there. So click on the cred exchange system. And then once you've done that, you're going to see this come up to you. Uh, this is the cred exchange kind of interface here. You can buy, you can sell, or you can look at your listing. So cred uh, is under your account inventory. So if you want to go down to where your boom boxes were uh, and where your uh, boost and XP for like having the authenticator all under the account inventory. If you go there, you click on cred, go to bind to account, click on that and then hit the confirm button and you now have that cred to sell uh, at your leisure. So if we go here back to the cred exchange system, we'll be able to go over to the sell tab. Now there's a few different things here you need to take note of. The first one on the top there where it says sell cred now, you do not want to do that. Somebody's placed a buy order for two plat, 50 gold. You do not want to sell that. Okay, that's completely completely undervalued and I believe as the economy sorts itself out, cred's going to be going for upwards of 20, 30, 40, maybe even 50, 60 plat uh, per uh, you know single unit of cred. So do not underprice what it's going for on the market. So if we look here, uh, you're able to, uh, on the one below that, you're able to go and set a price. So if you see there, there are sell orders. There are the top sell order is for four plat and the lowest one is around two, like I have already said. But if we go back in there, make sure that you have it and you've claimed it from your account inventory, and then you're able to go in there and type some numbers uh, into that second column. We can also look at our listing once we put it up on the cred exchange by clicking on my listing. But if we go in there and start typing some numbers, I'm trying to think of what I want to sell this for. I believe I want to do it for around 12 plat. I believe if I got that out of this first one, uh, I would be completely, you know, very, very pleased with that. So you want to go, and the way you type it in is extremely strange and odd. You've got to type in like 12 first and then zero, zero uh, after that, and then keep going, because it, it's weird how they have it to where you input the number. So make sure you get the number inserted right uh, when you're trying to sell uh, the cred. So again, it's a 48-hour listing. So once you put it up on the cred exchange market, you'll have it up there for around 48 hours exactly, okay? And then you go to sell order like that. So you'll click on the sell order, and then boom, it'll say, are you want to sell this for 48-hour listing for 12 plat? You hit the confirm. 
confirm, it'll say success. And then once you've done that, you'll be able to go up to the log or my listings and you'll see there that you have one unit of cred that is up for sell for 12 plat. So it'll be up there for 47 hours. Uh, I'm not expecting to sell it this first time. I know the economy has to sort itself out. If somebody has 12 plat at this point in time in the game, that is extremely impressive. I'm not saying it's not possible because I'm sure there are people who have that, but that would be extremely impressive. But anyways, that is kind of what you, you're looking at when you're putting it up on the market. And this is kind of just a look at the exchange. Now I'm going to give you a, just one or two tips on what to do. Number one, don't undervalue, don't underprice this, hold on to it. You paid real money for it. Hold on to it. It will increase as time goes on as more characters level up to 50 and as more accounts are going to go over the 30 day free which they get with the account when purchasing the game you will get a lot more in-game currency for this unit so make sure you don't underprice or undervalue it and number two make sure you don't type in the wrong numbers when you're listing it there and then the last tip that i'm going to give you is this do not and i say i cannot say this enough do not try to rush and sell this unit because i, I guarantee you it will go for a lot more if you just hold on to it wait till end game people are getting to elder game and they want uh to do that so two different types of players one that's going to be able to have the time to grind the in-game currency to buy cred off someone who's purchased it with real money and then on the flip side of that another person who has purchased it with real money because they don't have the time to grind at the in-game gold so anyways guys this has just been a basic rundown on how to buy and sell cred within wildstar i hope it helped you out if it did slap that like button down below subscribe to my channel for more great content just like this and i will see you guys next time Thank <laughs> you.